All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about the governor of Massachusetts demanding help from the Biden administration with dozens of migrant families camping out in the Boston airport. Okay, so from Breitbart here, article reads, the governor of Massachusetts is calling on the Biden administration to act as nearly 100 migrants camp out in Boston's international airport while the city's shelters are at capacity. Dozens of migrant families, including several with young children, have been sleeping on the cold floor of Logan International Airport's international terminal, reports the New York Post. The sad scenes look similar to those at the Chicago O'Hare Airport, which local reports have described as a scene from Mad Max, a dystopian movie set in a post-apocalyptic world. Footage captured by Freedom News TV shows the depressing situation with adults and kids bundled up in coats and laying their blankets on the hard tile. Now here's a clip here. And folks, if it's not already there, um, if this if this doesn't change, then this this will be coming to a city near you. It uh, goes on to say here, Governor Mara Healey called on Washington, D.C. for a solution to the, quote, border situation. We need D.C. to act. We need Congress to act, she told CBS News on Monday. The path is there in terms of what needs to be done to fix the border situation, to fix some of the asylum processes, and to get much-needed funding to some of the interior states who have had to shoulder the burden for a problem that is geopolitical and not the state's making, okay? Despite them, you know, having numerous sanctuary cities and not wanting to send anybody back across the border. Okay, the governor previously asked the Biden administration for an additional $250 million to address the state's overwhelmed shelter system in September 2023, reported the Boston Globe. This came after she declared a state of emergency over the migrant influx in August. According to Healy's office, the crisis could cost Massachusetts $915 million in 2025, and she is expected to submit another supplemental budget soon and propose funding some of the crisis with a $700 million state surplus fund, reports CBS. Healy added that Massachusetts state police officers are being paid overtime to patrol the area. It's exponentially more than our state has ever served in our emergency assistance program, she said, of the 80% increase in migrants pouring into the state. Boston, along with seven other cities around the state, is a designated sanctuary for illegal migrants, meaning that local officials do not have to comply with federal immigration policy. So, I mean, I thought this was interesting here. Um, you, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing a lot of these blue state governors, mayors, uh, so-called leaders who have long pro been proponents of sanctuary city policies, um, increasing mass immigration, not deporting people, uh, on and on, okay? And what we're seeing here is a logical consequence of their policies, okay? So what are they complaining about? Why, I mean, why is this a problem? I mean, I mean, we're constantly told that, you know, immigrants make America great and that they, they contribute so much to our economy and that we just need more and more people coming into the country and that it's going to make our country better. It's going to make our country more vi vibrant and so so on and so forth. And they're, they're the loudest voices complaining about this. Now, they don't want the people sent back. They don't want people stopped from coming here. They just want more money, right? They don't want to actually have to pay for it, right? So calling yourself a sanctuary city or a sanctuary state, whatever, is a whole lot different than actually having to provide that sanctuary. It's a whole, it's a whole different ball game, okay? And and like I said, you know, I, I don't necessarily think Donald Trump is going to come in and, and immediately fix everything and and 
send these people back right away or, or even stop everybody from coming in. But the situation would be a lot better with him in the Oval Office than old Joe Biden. Okay. So none of these, none of these big city mayors, they're, they're, they're all going to support Joe Biden or, or whoever the Democrat nominee turns out to be. So really they're all full of hot air at the end of the day. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.